Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you to our channel on this lovely day. Amen. We are recording from Solid Rock International Ministries. This is our local church, hallelujah. We come here to serve God and to serve man. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And we are located in the county of Nairobi. Amen. We are next to the Jericho Market, which is directly opposite the Metropolitan Hospital. Buru Buru. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And we start at 8 a.m. and end at about uh, 12 p.m. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. And so, uh, uh, if you're watching us for the first time, this is your first time here. I encourage you to subscribe, hallelujah, and to all our, our regular viewers, we say thank you, hallelujah, thank you so much for always uh, joining us here uh, in our daily devotions, hallelujah, where we read God's word and uh, have fellowship together. We want to say thank you and we are praying for you, amen and amen. So today we are in the book of uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 13. Hallelujah. We shall read from verse number 51 to, uh, to verse 52. Two verses. Hallelujah. Amen. In the previous video, we said, Hallelujah. Or rather, we read how Jesus had, uh, has taught, had taught the people uh, the parables. Hallelujah. He, had, he has finished the parables. Hallelujah. He has finished speaking. Parables, hallelujah. I've been told in verse number 51 and verse number 52 of Matthew chapter 13 that Jesus went back to the house, hallelujah, and he asked the disciples, Have you understood all these things? Jesus was a teacher, and like any other teacher, he had to ask his students, have you understood all these things? Hallelujah. He spoke so many things. The parable of the sower, the parable of the weeds, hallelujah. The parable of the treasure in the field, glory be to God. So he says to them, or he asks them, have you understood all these things? What was the answer? They said, yes. Yes, we have understood. Hallelujah. And remember, Jesus said to them, much earlier when he started, and we had read here on this channel, that to you, you have been given an understanding of the kingdom, but not to these people. And that is why I speak to them in parables. Because like Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter 6, they see, but they can't perceive. They hear, but they don't hear. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus says to the Morazdan, have you understood? And they said, yes, we have. And in verse number 52, as we conclude, hallelujah. Jesus says to them, Therefore, every scribe, he was now telling them, you are now scribes. You have qualified to teach, hallelujah, the laws of Moses. You are now qualified to teach the laws of the prophets. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. You are now scribes. And he says to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. He wasn't speaking about the scribes. Ah. Uh, who are only trained in the law of Moses, and they said, we're only following the laws of Moses. He was talking to the scribes, 
whom he had trained, the twelve disciples. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is like a master, is like a master of the house, who brings out of his house treasures of what is old and what is new. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The other scribes, they could only bring treasures of what was old. And that is why Jesus would say to them, you have heard that it was said to the people of old, do not commit murder, do not commit adultery, do not swear. Hallelujah. But I say unto you, Amen. That, that is what he said in Matthew chapter 5. I know you remember the verses in Matthew chapter 5. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Jesus says to his disciples, Every scribe who is trained for the kingdom of God shall bring out of his house, Hallelujah, like a master of his house, he shall bring out of his treasure what is old and what is new. Therefore, as a disciple of Jesus, be trained for the kingdom. Take time to learn the Ten Commandments. Take time to learn the laws of Moses. Hallelujah. Take time to learn the gospel. Hallelujah. And the New Testament. So that you will qualify as a scribe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that you can bring out of your treasure the old and the new. Hallelujah. Read to us the New Testament. Hallelujah. Word for word. Read to us the Old Testament. Moses and the law and the prophets, word for word, hallelujah. And the Lord, when he looks at you, he will have a smile on his face, hallelujah. God bless you. See you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Amen.